What's up? It's Keith. In this video, I want to talk about holding space. I want to talk about remaining in integrity with people. It could be with business partners, with friends. It could be with your woman. It could be with anybody. And how if you step out of integrity with people, things get rough. You can go into anxiety. You can actually become a flake to where you're wishy-washy or flaky and people don't trust you and you repeatedly get into these situations or it seems like other people will engineer situations to try to suck you into some type of trap to now where you're sitting there backpedaling or you know defending yourself or maybe you can't follow through on your word and somebody is just gutting you whether it be emotionally or financially hopefully not and how to work through that that's what I want to talk about in this video if you get into these situations they're extremely stressful extremely anxious they give you anxiety to the point where you want to just punch a wall or give up or quit or put a gun in your mouth whatever that may be so I could tell you a perfect story I'll talk about two things I'll talk about a, a, a business relationship or a friend and then I'll talk about with your woman so we get both polar opposite sides of the story here. I got a friend named William. You might see him. I have a, a landscaping channel, the landscaping employee trap. This guy's awesome. Uh, he's a does tree work. I own a landscape company. Sometimes we team up. If we got we got some tree jobs that you know I don't want to do some crazy shit over people's houses or whatever. He comes in like a like a a Navy SEAL. And this guy is phenomenal. He's incredibly masculine. He's incredibly to the point and direct when he talks. And if he feels even for a second that you're being a wimp or you're stepping out of integrity with him or not following through on your word, dude, he will fucking gut you and he will let you have it. He will raise his voice. He will look you dead in the face and tell you need to get your shit together and he'll, you know, he'll just bounce. He'll speed off in his truck and you won't hear from him for a while and he'll be pissed. And that's what I love about this guy because he's one of the rare men out there who actually have the balls to tell you the way it is, even if he seems like he's being an asshole. And he is an asshole sometimes. He's one of my best friends. And that's what you love about people that are this way because they're rare and they're gems. And the people that have the ability to hold up the mirror to show you exactly what you're doing right and doing wrong and to, about being candid. Jack Welch. The, the founder of, I mean, the CEO of General Electric said, you got to be candid with people. You got to tell them what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong because otherwise they won't get to grow. People are very resilient and they will respect you in the long run when you're very candid with them. Well, if you're on the receiving end, for instance, uh, I'll take you a little quick story. We did a tree trim job and uh, the very next day we had to push it back to a different day and I had a crew working in a different location and I couldn't meet him to dump all the debris off which he put in his truck to help him and in that moment I kind of stiffed him because I would have I'm like dude can you go get rid of the tree shit I'll pay you some extra I can't make it because it's good and he's like motherfucker like you now you fuck me and and I really didn't mean to do it I'll swamp head so much shit going on but I didn't follow through my and I called him up as he was leaving, I said, dude, I'm fucking sorry, dude. I'll, I'll eat it. I don't care about the money. I'll do whatever I can to maintain. He goes, no, like you already fucked up. You already went back on your word. It doesn't matter what you're, you say now. I appreciate the good intention, the good gesture, but fuck you. And it's really interesting. So you're sitting there feeling the burn of your mistake. You're feeling the burn of your integrity. But the most powerful thing you could do in those situations where you're not being in integrity and walking that line with people because it can feel like you're walking through fire like you're being split apart like you're you have to fall on your own sword and feel the pain and burn through it because there's a saying I love it's people first things second sometimes you have to let the money burn you have to let things burn and fall away while you maintain integrity with people and if they can feel at least you're at least giving your best shot and you're not hiding and ducking and dodging and excuses and bullshit, you're being, dude, I fucked up. I know I fucked up. I'm sorry. I'm owning up to it right now. And right in that moment, as soon as they feel that, they're like, okay, dude, I know, I know. Even if it's something bad, right? Because it's not really that bad. But they can 
sense in that situation. Is this a person I can trust? Are they gonna keep doing this? Because they've done it before. But as long as you're getting better and you instantly own up, it doesn't matter who it is. Then that's, then you're being a good man, right? What is good, what is bad? There's no good or bad or right or wrong. There's only relativity. Own up to your mistakes immediately or as soon as possible. Listen, dude, I was du ducking and dodging in excuses and it's really, it's my fault. Mm. I own it and keep trying. All right, next, with your woman. You could be spending time with your woman. You guys go out to eat, you get some food, everything's great. And whether you're out to eat or you're sitting in the car with her, it doesn't matter what it is, one little wrong thing can happen, dude. You can say something wrong, you could do something. There's something that triggers her or she triggers you or something happens. And now in this very moment, you're sitting here next to her burning in hell you're both burning in hell together and you have an option you can leave and run you can blow up and start cussing and screaming you can act like a victim or a crybaby or a little boy you can act like a little bitch you can do all types of things but it's not going to make the problem better it's going to make it worse you know you always fucking do this <laughs> and then it could turn it can escalate into physical abuse it could get crazy or maybe um now there's this could go many 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 ways and i know that you know this and i know that you're like oh but you don't know she's crazy right maybe you're crazy but the best thing you can do in that circumstance i've had a lot of experience with this is take a breath and feel that pain fall on your sword wear her anger like a coat and sit there and burn and I know this is really graphic. Burn in hell with your woman and just sit there and own up to it and live in it and just sit there and ah, oh, this hurts so bad and sit there with her. And when she feels that you know, that she knows that you know, when she can feel that you are willing to burn through the hell with her for eternity, that you ain't going nowhere and you know it sucks, and you're right there with her, you can, like squeezing a camel through the eye of a needle, this is almost spiritual, it will dissolve the situation, and now you can move forward. Now, when a woman is upset, she doesn't care if you've been like the perfect guy for the last 10 years. If you fucked up right now, she is feeling you're out of integrity and you're out of line in this very moment. And women don't give a shit about, well, the track record says that, you know, Johnny was on time for 36 weeks in a row. And because Johnny's late, he's probably having a bad day. Well, give Johnny a break. No, no, no. Right now, you're the biggest piece of shit walking. You deserve to be hung up on a cross and crucified and you deserve to be gutted and your woman will gut you. <laughs> <laughs> your, woman, your woman will gut your ass like a fucking fish, bro. Now, sometimes they take it too far and they need to be put in their place. I'm just kidding. I don't mean like, see, see, I can't even joke around or anything. Sometimes your woman, if she takes it too far for her own good, you have to, see, I shouldn't have done that. I, screw you. I didn't, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, let me move forward, okay? Sometimes your woman will take it too far and you have to let her know she's taking it too far. You're taking this too far, Martha. You're taking this too far and I think it's time that we both take a breather. I'm going outside to walk the dog and I'll be right back. But it can be uh, hell and heaven in, in one moment to the next. And your woman feels you're out of integrity in the moment, it doesn't matter, dude. You're the you know, I already said that. And the only way is to get right back in integrity in that very moment. The only reason I'm leaning is because I feel like you can't see me, but I know you can. There you go. The only way is to get right back in integrity in that moment. She doesn't want to hear excuses. She doesn't want to hear about, but I've been on time the last 36 years. She doesn't want to hear that. She doesn't want to hear, uh, uh, she doesn't want to fight. She doesn't, she, she, all she wants to know is that you got right back in integrity. Okay, okay, I know I was late. I'm here right now. Let's do this shit. Now we're here if I can piece of shit. Hey, enough of that. I'm here now. Let's do this shit. Let's get it done. Let's move forward. <laughs> right? It's, 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 it's not easy. And sometimes when you see a, a couple that's been married for like 30 years and the guy's just sitting there chilling, reading a book, 
and then she's in the other room gossiping on the phone like that is a marriage that's working because there's three stages in a marriage there's three stages in a relationship one the first stage of consciousness is very immature uh, they fight they have great makeup sex after a fight and they fight and they make up and it's all about it's this tug of war it's very exciting it's energetic there's a lot of fights but the second stage is functionality and fairness I learned stuff like this from Coach Rob at EgoEdge.com. Yes, I'm promoting this stuff right now because the guy's amazing. Coach Rob at EgoEdge.com. I'll put a link in the description below. The guy's phenomenal. If you're having, uh, this is like a little mini commercial now. If you're having hell in your relationship, you want to give this guy a call up, I'll put a link. He does personal consulting and he does uh, couples coaching. He will literally, he stops divorces, okay? And he stops people from committing suicide. That's how amazing he is. Just when he talks, you feel like, like he's like, wow, someone understands me on the deepest level, okay? But anyways, the second stage is functionality and fairness. That's when now, okay, Martha, I'll go and I'll pick up the dry cleaning. You go to the grocery store and then we'll meet back at three o'clock. I know we're hurting right now and times are tough, but I love you and we'll see this through. Or I'll let go of my ball game, my sports game, and I'll help you with, I don't know, whatever. But then in the future, it's functional, it's fair. That's where most married couples are that have successful marriages. Good times, bad times, it's functional. The third stage is uh, just unequivocal, absolute, unconditional love. You do what's right and you bend over backwards and you suffer for the other person because you love them and you want the best for them without the expectation of receiving or wanting anything back in return no matter what. Okay, that's enough for this video and uh, keep moving forward, keep loving with an open heart, love people around you, be for real with them, even if it hurts, speak the truth, be direct with the people you love. If your mom, your dad, your, your aunt, your uncle, sister, brother, your business partner is hurting your feelings, you're pissing you off, I know, you know, be like, dude, I don't like the way that this is happening right now, and, and I feel the way that I feel for a reason, and maybe it's partly my fault, it probably is, but let's work this thing out, and let's talk this out, because there's no need for me to be going around pissed off and in anxiety, or you to be suffering as well when there's this issue. Let's just talk it out, let's, let's, move, let's move past this. That's where communication comes into play and being real. Perfect, right? Okay, stay tuned for more videos, please, please like, share, subscribe to this stuff. I appreciate you, I believe in you, and I want the best for you. Keith Kelfis, I am ability, over and out.